When empaths get angry, 10 vicious ways they crush narcissists. Hey there, it's always a pleasure to have you back here to listen to what I have to offer. Today, I have something that I believe could be of immense help to all the empaths out there. I'm here to share the top 10 things that drive narcissists over the edge. But before we dive in, I want you to know that what I'm about to reveal is not for those of you who face any physical danger or can harm yourselves or your loved ones. This is solely for those who have to cope with narcissists that use emotional and psychological abuse to control them. If you're in a hazardous situation, please reach out to medical professionals, the police, or other authorities immediately. Never put yourself or your family in jeopardy. Now that we have that crucial information out of the way, let's jump right into it. Grace yourself to learn the habits and qualities that will make your narcissist run for the hills. Be sure to grab a pen and paper to note these life-saving tips. But hold up, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest and greatest advice that will enhance your life. 1. It's imperative to keep yourself out of the line of fire when narcissists engage in their signature fights. These ego-bloated individuals thrive on the confusion, drama, and intensity they create. All they want is an easy target to dish out their projections, criticism, and verbal attacks on. They crumple their victims like an emotional punching bag. But what if you don't want to fight back or give them any kind of emotional response? What if you just stared back at them with an unreactive, blank look? This is when they go crazier than a bag of cats with nowhere to scratch. They won't have anyone to take out the bad feelings that they so desperately want to unload. By remaining stoic, you make yourself less of an easy target. They suddenly feel ineffective and powerless as they can't find a way to manipulate or control you, which is definitely a bonus point in your column. 2. Narcissists live in their problems, conflicts, and rumors and expect everyone else to join them in their bleak mindset. They crave attention, power, and control through any possible means. But what if you just don't care? What if their lies and false beliefs have no bearing on your opinion, emotions, or actions? You'll witness them ridiculously confused as they find out how little they mean to you. Imagine their frustrating turmoil when they can't manipulate or change the mood of someone who stands firm in the unresponsive wake of their attempts. You'll drive them bananas by going about your day, accomplishing your tasks, and enjoying life. With your newfound bliss, you show that you don't care about their problems, how they affect you, or even if they exist. 3. Narcissists never, and I mean never, expect to be put on the spot in front of others. They use their cunning and manipulation to conceal their true selves, make themselves look good, and hide their shortcomings. But what if you decided to let everyone in on their game and shared their lies, exaggerations, and flaws? Imagine the sheer terror in their expression when they are suddenly forced to prove their worth in front of others. They freeze up like a cow at the slaughter when you ask them a straightforward question that will reveal their true nature. Their agitation knows no bounds when you point out their mistakes and flaws publicly. You can strip them of their power and show everyone who they genuinely are. They're left floundering in their own lies when everyone sees through them. You won't accept their falsehoods and tricks any longer. So don't be afraid to call them out in front of others and say it loud and proud. They can't hide from the truth. 4. What if you stopped falling for their deceitful schemes and told the narcissist that their feelings and stories are completely valid? It's time to let them know that you see right through their falsehoods and don't want to be part of their game anymore. When you deny the lies and inconsistencies they present, you're saying, I'm not buying your charade, and I won't let you use me. Next time you're in a conversation with a narcissist who is gossiping or saying harmful things about someone else, challenge their narrative and put a stop to their deceit. This disruption leaves them completely off balance, and they won't know what to do because you're no longer playing along with their ploys. 5. Want to know how to show those self-centered narcissists whose boss? Treat them badly and make sure they feel small. Show them the same disrespect that they show you. By treating them with contempt and disdain, you're communicating to them that you won't be their punching bag anymore. They won't be able to judge or criticize you again. 
Don't let them take charge of your conversations. Allow yourself to feel inferior or give in to their bullying. Standing up for yourself and making it clear that you won't put up with their ridiculousness can go a long way in letting them know their antics won't scare you anymore. 6. What if their narcissistic tendencies make you laugh or drop your jaw in disbelief? Imagine how they'll feel when they lose their power because you don't take them seriously. If you don't give in to their self-centered behavior, they won't receive the attention and respect their narcissism craves. You're displaying to them that their fanciful stories and deceptions won't make a shred of difference to you. But keep an eye out for any outbursts when they realize they can't manipulate you with their elaborate fabrications. 7. Honesty is always the best policy. And it rings even truer when dealing with narcissists. They have a fragile sense of self, and they're pros at manipulating others to fulfill their needs. But what if you were to be brutally and explicitly honest, even when it stings? What if you told them the unadulterated truth, even when it's not what they wanted to hear? Being unrelenting with the truth when you deal with narcissists can show them precisely how poorly they are behaving. When you face them head-on with the stark reality, they might just implode. They're entirely unaccustomed to hearing the truth, particularly when it goes against their high self-opinion. Courageously separating yourself from the herd and voicing what no one else dares to can be earth-shattering when it dawns on them what they've been doing all along. 8. Imagine if you could see right through their veil of deception. Never mind the fake facade they try to maintain. What if you could look past their outwardly superficial personas and witness precisely how weak, useless, and worthless they truly are? This can shatter the illusion of power they maintain and give you the opportunity to reclaim control. Once you see through their smokescreen, they recognize that you're not taken in by their shtick, and it's game over for them. With no easy targets to manipulate, they know they've hit a dead end. 9. Here's the question. What happens if you stop caring? Refusing to acknowledge their existence is an incredibly effective way to weaken their hold over you. By not paying attention to their narcissistic behavior, you're not feeding their ego. This can make them go crazy and starve them of the attention they crave. Even though it's challenging to detach yourself, it's worth it. The only thing louder than the silence is the sound of your own needs being met. And by refusing to engage, you take control of your own narrative. So turn a blind eye to their antics and enjoy the spectacle of their power slowly fading away. 10. Giving up and walking away from narcissists may seem like the ultimate defeat, but it's often the most effective way to take back control. It shows that you are indifferent on every level. To put it bluntly, you couldn't care less. You're dead to me. Zero focused energy, care, worry, or supply of narcissistic attention. It means cutting off all communication and moving on. Sure, it's not a competitive game or a spirited debate, and it's not always easy to accomplish, but trust me, it's not impossible and is often essential for your mental health and well-being. I hope you learned something from this video that you can apply in your life. If so, like and tell me what you learned from it the most in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of when I post new videos. In case you're interested, I've included a link in the description box below to access my free course, as well as other related content. Always remember to value yourself and to take control of your narrative. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.